What's up? Nick the Nutter Buster here to bring you this week's episode of Cooking with the Nutter Buster. Let's get it started. I'm going to show y'all something. Uh, y'all are just going to have to pardon the kitchen mess. we got a small kitchen and we don't clean it because it's just the two of us here since like March. So we're not even pretending to be cleanly hygienic people anymore at this point, right? So... I'm going to show y'all how to take a deer roast um, and in four hours with about one minute of prep time and then four hours of cooking I'm going to show you how to turn it into something that anybody in your family will eat whether they like deer meat or not. Uh, if you've seen my video on cleaning deer and breaking the shoulder down into the shin roast and the blade roast and of course the shin if you like that sort of thing. Um, or then breaking the hams down and deboning it into the three main muscle groups. By the time you've done that, each shoulder is going to give you two bone-in roasts. Each ham usually gives me three boneless roasts. And here lately, the way I've been cooking them is an instant pot. If you don't have an instant pot, get an instant pot. It makes life more better. It's like a time machine for cooking. All right, let me see if I can adjust my camera here and show you all this goodness. Hashtag quality camera work all right look at that that is a roast all right that's the good stuff so you can see i can just reach right up in there and that bone it just comes right out all right four hours and the thing was frozen solid and all that i usually do once i get it cooked up like that you can leave it whole and then you can do it with like potatoes or whatever side you want um, but then what I usually do is I just pull it and let it soak in its own juices and uh, then I'll, I'll serve it up to just barbecue just pulled pork right so and that way it really it's real moist um, the neat thing if you look at this you'll notice there's a surprising amount of fat in that meat I don't know if you can see that that fat floating on top I did not add any oil or butter or bacon grease or anything like that, especially if you're using a shoulder. You cook it in a pressure cooker, all that silver skin and that nasty old connective tissue and everything, it cooks down. And then it's ultimately, it's just, just fat uh, when you cook it in an instant pot. So it is absolutely delicious. This is a quick, easy way to make barbecue sandwiches, make a roast, serve it with your potatoes and vegetables or whatever. But this stuff right here, I'm fixing to go scouting for, I guess, I'm going to end up spending four days and, I guess, four nights on the road living out of the back of my car. And I'm prepping up some of this to eat, kind of cut expensive, do a little ghetto budget trip. But look at this stuff. Tell me you don't want some of that. Oh, that looks good. Let me show you how we do it. All right. So you're going to start... This is your roast, all right? This, I'm judging by the heft and the shape of it, that's a blade roast. All you gotta do, once you get everything packed up, I just put that in freezer paper, all right? When you get ready to cook it, you unwrap it. Hit it with whatever you believe in. There is no seasoning better than Tony's seasoning. That is the end of the discussion, but if you prefer an inferior seasoning, you do you, boo, all right? You're going to take this piece of meat now this is froze, this is, this is solid, alright, you're going to stick it in your instant pot, like so, and you're going to cook that bad boy, mine max is out at four hours, that's it, um, <laughs> you can't beat that, it's real good, uh, if you like pulled pork, if you like pulled brisket and stuff like that, you'll like that. It's on. It's pressurized. Four hours from now, I put this stuff on four hours ago. I did two batches today because um, I'm kind of trying to stockpile some of them. I've eaten off of it for almost a week. That's going to be what I eat. But from this to this, four hours. No fancy preparations, no babysitting a smoker, just take that bad boy, shove it in the instant pot, season it up how you want, 
and uh, it cooks down and it, it makes its own juice that way cooking it in the instant pot it keeps it from drying out and since it's sealed and pressurized like you can do it you can do stuff like that in a slow cooker but you can't cook frozen meat in a slow cooker right um, and you can smoke them in, in venison is good and everything like that but cooking it in that pressure cooker and having it be sealed and come to that high pressure one since it's sealed your juices don't all evaporate and burn up and give you a dry roast like you can cook something in an instant pot and you see people they're like oh pour a can of cream of mushroom on it or put beef broth on it or whatever i don't put any liquid with it and that don't need any liquid that is all 100 percent deer meat plus whatever seasoning you put on there and it's making if you break that to the side you can see it's making its own gravy all right it's good stuff uh, so instant pot lets you cook stuff quicker it lets you cook stuff and keep it moist uh, and then there was a point I was going to there was a third thing I was going to go to and now I can't forget it what was it keeps it moist speeds the process up maybe that was it maybe it just keeps but what more do you want like is there really anything else that you want out of a deer recipe other than being fast cheap and easy I don't think there is. That's it. That's cooking with Nick. Y'all have a good day.